There are many different types of lights for the stage, in all different sizes for all different purposes. There are the large essential lights, and there are the small specialties. The basic equipment is the parkan, a Fernell light, a 6x9 or a 6x12, a Source 4 light, very important a Parnell light, and the basic tools for focusing, such as the barrels, clamps, and barn doors. Clamps are basically a hook and a screw, and they hold the light to the bar. It's very important that you really tighten the screw to keep the light on to the bar. Next are barrels with different degrees depending on how you want to focus, with the higher the degree, meaning a higher area of coverage. You can also adjust a barrel's position on a light, which changes its focus area. <laughs> Lastly are shutters called barn doors, which help you to block the light from going onto certain areas of the stage. Q4. But let's hear from a pro. You say lighter with the piano. Q5. Hi, I'm Sydney Burke, and I'm producer of drama, and I'm also lighting designer. Hi, I'm Olga Shmiro, I'm a producer, and I'm on Lights Crew, under her reign. Besides, like, the actual production, I would say that lighting is a big part of it. Because, um, well, first of all, first of all, it actually puts light on the actors so the audience can see yeah, them. Yeah. And it also, it's really important for creating a mood. So, different types and colors of gels can change the mood of any scene or any, you know, performance. How, you, how the audience feels about it is basically the point of gels, you know? Because if you go in and you're like, oh, okay, so I'm gonna go see a love scene right now, and then you have like, just like white light, or if you go in to see a fight scene and it's like blue, doesn't make sense. Because you're like, so is it like a romantic fight scene and it doesn't, it's like not there, you know? So you do red. Red. Hey, I'm red. <laughs> and I'm a fight scene. If you were having a romance scene and it was really bright and harsh lighting, then it's not going to translate the same way as if you were to have a romance scene with pretty blues and pretty purples that add a more ethereal love atmosphere. And also, you would think that, you know, maybe if you didn't even have the lighting, it wouldn't matter with the acting. However, the lighting, it adds the mood to what, how the audience knows what emotion is supposed to be invoked in them. So it can enhance the scene, and if you don't have that, then the audience doesn't know what to feel. Besides also, acting. it enhances the um, set itself, too. I mean, if you just have a room on stage, the lighting really adds to it. And it also brings the audience into an element of, um, a, they... If they're just in a room watching actors, they're very aware of the fact that they're watching a play. But when you add the lights um, to the contrast of them in the darkness, they can kind of disappear and pretend that the show is real life. Um, the favorite part about physically doing lights is I like gels because I like um, dealing with the different colors because it adds a lot of um, it adds a lot of intensity to the show, it adds a lot of mood, it just makes everything, it adds a nice final touch. So I really like gels and also gobos, which are patterns you can put in the lights if you want. If you want a tree on the back wall, if you want um, shapes to add more um, texture, then you put a gobo into the light. <laughs> I 
After all the lights are focused, now it's time to put in gels. And gels are really thin plastic with a tint of color in them. Sometimes you can mix the gels to make them darker or you can make them lighter. But the frost is a clear color, just like this. Now frost is kind of, has texture on the inside but it's smooth on the outside. So what you would want to do is you'd want to put the gel behind the frost and put it up to the light to see how it looks. It gives it much, a much softer look. These patterns are called gobos. They are placed into lights and then the um, patterns are projected onto the stage. So this one, for example, is the, is an earth. So if you were try or a moon, you could use it as a moon. They're actually quite versatile. So um, and like here is, or, or here are branches, which you can use to show an outside scene if you want. But um, they're quite useful. Okay, so to put in the gobo, you first slide it into this gobo holder. Oh, make sure you don't cut yourself, because that happens quite often. Your and hand then, will fall off. <laughs> and then simply slide it into a source for one of our mini lights. And voila, the pattern is projected once the light is turned on. It's with a really long extension cord, and you plug one side of the extension cord into the light, and then one side of the extension cord into the circuit. And then the circuit runs through a power line that goes to the dimmers. And then the dimmers go from a power source to um, the actual board. so that you can program when you want want what lights to turn on. The important thing about lighting to remember is safety. 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 <laughs> Dude, I was thinking that and I was like, is she going to say it? I don't know. She's a professional here, but... <laughs> You know. Safety is very important. Um, on all the lights we have safeties in case they fall, they'll be caught. Sometimes, well sometimes, one time someone forgot and we were like, oh my god, because if not, if you're under a light and it falls on and you, and it falls because there's no safety, the safety can be everything. If the light falls and there's safety, it's still hanging there. Yeah, the light's messed up on whatever. If there's a person there and there's no safety there and it comes undone, that person <laughs> will die. <laughs> It's important because we're on such high ladders, um, we need things called spotters, which is a person standing under the ladder making sure it's stabilized because on you're on the top, the top of a ladder um, holding a huge light. I mean, if you fall, it can be really bad and the person can't catch you, but they just try to prevent the ladder from falling. Or the ladder um, from moving off balance. We also have safeties. Balance. We have safeties on the wrenches so that... Um, it can be around your wrist when you're using it as well, so that you don't drop it onto someone's head. Um, Not good news. That it's a, it's a, there have been close calls. Safety is key in every single aspect of lighting, okay? Because, I mean, you don't want a light to fall on anyone, because they'll Kill die. Them. And, and you, you know, you don't, we, we've had people get stitches because of these. Quite, quite, they've gone to the hospital. Yeah. They've been there. Because they're metal and they're sharp. Cut yourself with it. Uh, so you can't just touch the edges, and they look—they look nice and round and clean. They're not. They're not. <laughs> There's possibly blood on them. Yeah, we don't know. So. <laughs> and you put these in, and they're pretty dangerous to put in too because you kind of have to, you know, shove them in there. <laughs> shove it in. You shove it in the top of the light. <laughs> So in a nutshell, lighting is more than just plugging things in and turning the lights on. It's about setting the mood, creating a picture, just taking the scene to a whole new place. Then again, to know the full story, you'll have to be on the crew. Just remember the next time you see a performance, remember who put the lights up. It's a lot more work than you think.